is really giving me big city vibes. I saw. Oh, there's the big house there. Look at all the poise you have in the window. It's so vibrant. The buildings are absolutely beautiful. This Hello, guys, and welcome back to a new episode here from Glen and Mado from New Zealand. And guys, we made it to Dunedin. It's a beautiful place. We just arrived last night and we haven't done any research so far. So we're just gonna walk around, get a coffee, and just give you our first impression of this beautiful town. So Dunedin is the wildlife capital of New Zealand, as you probably know, has a lot of beautiful different species of animals, penguins, seals, and the rarest penguin here in Dunedin. But we haven't seen one yet, but hopefully we see one over the next couple of days. Hey. And this is a thriving city since the 1850s, like a lot of major cities here around New Zealand. The place looks insane. It's full of hills as well. There's a lot of hills and we're living on a hill right now and it's pretty intense for my brakes and the car. It's but so hilly. That's our first impression. Yeah. There's so many hills here. We only arrived last night and we're going to be here for like two weeks house sitting. Two cats. So as you can see, you have the beautiful architecture in the back, Victorian style. It's a lot of cars. Yeah. We have to somehow cross the street we're and without now. getting knocked down, you're in yeah. the middle of the street, Glenn. Let's make it happen and get some coffee, yeah. Seriously, no, notice that the buildings are getting more beautiful and more old the further we go down the South Island. It's honestly a, such a funky town. Look at all the graffiti down these alleyways. I think there's a old industrial building, co-op fruits growers building. Guys, we don't know much about Dunedin yet, but we will learn on the go. We will, that's how you learn guys, that's what a first impression is, you learn on the go, see the beauty of the town, and see what the culture is all about here. So guys, we're on Crawford Street. How are you? Alright? Oh, thanks buddy! <laughs> no way! Did you see that? A YouTube subscriber. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know this is. <laughs> the supporters are great, aren't they? On our channel. Yeah, but there you go. Always so nice to meet you guys. And one thing about the Eden guys, the smell of brakes. You're gonna smell a harsh smell of brakes. Because everybody has to brake because it's so hilly around here. And there our brakes start smelling like crazy as soon as we came down the hill from where we're staying today. Oh, look. look at that mural. That is beautiful. Canicles horse. So guys, like Dunedin is really famous for its graffiti or we call it murals. There's even kind of like online a map which you can follow, like a, a guide tour and you can see all the little graffitis and murals here in Dunedin and even like from really famous mural artists, so which is pretty cool. I really like that. So guys, there is around 120,000 people in this city and it does feel a bit more busier than most major cities and there's definitely more pedestrians walking around isn't there yeah and guys i'm i've already i'm already in research of finding nice coffee shops and this one apparently is a nice one and um, vanguard they have like specialty coffees and all but i found a place to do matcha and like let's check that out so we're gonna go for the coffee now madam yeah look for a nice coffee place for our current caffeine needs matcha fix a matcha fix yeah Look at the architecture, insane guys, insane. I love the place around here. It's lovely, isn't it? Honestly, it reminds me so of like Ireland or England, like the architecture. I mean, obviously. And a lot of it still stands from this day on. I'd say it would have looked the same in Christchurch if there wasn't the earthquake. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Mentioned. That's what the earthquake does, you know. It takes all the beautiful buildings away from the towns, unfortunately. Shame, isn't it? Is this the coffee place here? How are you lads? Catalyst. Catalyst. Alright. We got sorted, yeah? Got the coffee. There you go. We got like some. Cheers, madam. Cheers, Glenn. Good morning. Wakey wakey, yeah. You seem very impressed with that matcha. I mean it's not um they didn't use a whisk, so it's a bit like clumps. Clumpy. But like, but Chunky. like the taste, it's how it should be. Oh yeah. Somebody's happy. Yeah. Mada, what's going on over here? So we're just on, I think, Princess Street. And if you follow that street, we're gonna get to the CBD area. So that's what we're gonna do. We just walk and see what's happening. Oh, it sounds like a plan. Yeah. Seems like there's a few things going on over here. Oh, yeah. A little event. There's so, a few uh, food vans. I'd say there's a lot of offices around here. I think it's lunch time. That's why everybody's gonna gotta grab some food over there. I mean, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, so, truly, yeah. Not everybody's got to enjoy what we're doing. 
you lose track of what day it is sometimes because you're always in the road you just you kind of lose track of time but it's fun it's good it has ups and downs guys but look i'm liking this city so far it's so so busy though isn't it so many people as well so many cars honestly it feels like i'm in a major city here so where are we going going over here to check this place out you always see this phone box. yeah these are in every town here in new zealand i've noticed they still, i can't believe they still have phone boxes in town i don't see any towns with them anymore as well especially back in europe people have phones now nowadays so see anything nice metal so this one here they sell taiwanese crispy wraps and chicken or chicken or crispy chicken over chicken. here and wraps over here yeah yeah we just had breakfast so i don't think we're gonna grab anything yet probably get packaged in a little while and grab a bit of food but we're gonna walk up this lovely street full of beautiful buildings look at all the graffiti on the wall uh, in the windows over there so yeah, it's the most famous graffiti town, yeah? Dunedin. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly wish cities continue to build their buildings with limestone and keep that type of style instead of turning the style into concrete jungles. The limestone is beautiful. Look at all the graffiti here in the windows. Don't know what's going on there. I think it's abandoned, that's why. There's nobody in it anymore. So a few people just decided to vandalize it in the windows. There's so much coffee shops and little cute restaurants i mean you know new zealand is it. very rich in I'm coffee culture it. but i have to say like i feel like here the coffee culture is much bigger than in christchurch right yeah, yeah but this is a this is a thriving city the yeah. university city yeah just passing by into an app store like we always do it's always a mystery when you come into these shops isn't that right Maddo? Yeah. running jackie yeah oh, probably yeah. love app stores there's some flowers for you Maddo. for their car Guys, the op stores are absolutely awesome. It's just full of surprises and it's a mystery. It's a mystery always every time you go into an op store. I think we should look for more. Oh, the sun is coming out. There's the parking services. Look, Maddo, the sun has come out. Welcome to the sunlight. That's a bin, Maddo, yeah? It's okay. Maddo, how are you feeling with the, with the vibes around here? But like there's a lot of cars. There is a lot of cars. Yeah. You can never be happy, can you? It's either too busy or too quiet sometimes. Yeah, I do like that there's a lot more people. Walking around the streets, yeah. It's really busy with cars. It's more the fact that everybody is kind of walking around, it's work time and that's why you have so many pedestrians on the streets, which we're definitely not used to because New Zealand is known for people driving place to place. I mean also like we do a lot of a good pedestrian street where so everything is blocked off like you have in Christchurch and no cars. When you go shopping this is amazing. So, but maybe you find one. Let's see, let's explore. This city feels doesn't feel like New Zealand though. No, it, it feels, feels like, like a completely different country. It feels like yeah it feels like a different country. It feels like a European town. So it just feels like England or an English town with all the lovely beautiful Victorian architecture. Haynes buildings supplies. Is that an Irish flag or an Italian flag? Italian. That's, that's Italian, yeah. Green, white and red. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful town. You going over to explore the church, Maddo? Yeah. The first church of Otago. 1848. But there you go. Just before the, I think that's when the city just started taking off, around the dates when this church was actually planted here. Christmas mass. Now this is the first church that's actually open. Yeah, I was just going to say that, yeah. Let's, you read my mind. Let's have a look at the architecture. The doors are open to the public here. Happy days. But I think there's people inside, madam. There's a lot of cars outside. We don't want to disturb the peace. We'll do it quietly, yeah? Nice and quietly, madam. The presence should be quiet at all times. The smell of church. Very nice. Talking to the public. Beautiful, beautiful inside, isn't it? It's very big as well. First original church building, so it burned down, and the original church building was the center of community life. It's a Protestant church founded especially in Scotland. That's where they were, Scottish flags. Protestant church, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Sometimes it's hard to tell between a Catholic and a Protestant church at times. You have to really go up to the church and inside to make sure which one it really is. That's the hard part. It's hard to tell with the, with the architecture. But you see it a bit inside. Catholic is more like 
Klim Klim and more... Lam Lam. And Protestant is not so much impressive. So much going on in Sweden. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, what I mean, the difference? Sort of. Yeah, more money spent into the decoration and the In the Catholic churches. And, yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah. I get your point now. I even feel we have the old windows still on the buildings here behind me. Incredible, incredible that they're still actually intact after all these years. So walking through the CBD, it's actually thriving on people, isn't it? A lot of people enjoying the sunny weather today. I mean, it's Christmas as well. Probably people doing their Christmas shopping too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. A lot of people do Christmas shopping. Oh, look, at this. look at this. So we just had a little park area here in the middle of town. You have a little beautiful sitting area that you can just chill out and have some food here on the steps. I like the fact that there's a bit of green here. You can just chill out on a sunny day like this. So we actually have another Protestant church in the background. There's actually a lot of Pro Protestant churches here in town from the English times. And there's a lovely big corporation building. Looks fresh out of the packet. And there's a lovely Victorian style clock tower. It's gorgeous, on the renovation. So we're gonna head over to the Protestant church and check out the other one. It's literally across the road from the other one. It's mad. This looks more impressive, doesn't it matter? This is St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral. Nice How pronunciation. Anglican. You do better than me anyway. Anglicism is also a particular Christian tradition born out of Protestant, Church, Protestant yeah. Reformation in England around the 16th century. It's an earthquake prone building. Oh, that's made out of limestone. Yeah. I can see the difference in here. St. Paul's Church is definitely more beautiful. You see the difference, you know, in Catholic Church you have all these art images on the top and it's more, it looks more expensive. I don't know how to you understand describe it. Understand, yeah. But like it's beautiful, all the stones and all. That takes, that took a lot of work to probably yeah. craft as well and build. History here still presents coming where, when all these settlers first came from England and Ireland here in the lead and so. So there was a gold rush in the 1860s in the Otago province guys. No, the town was established in 1848 but the gold rush started to kick in in the 1860s so that's why you have so much wealth and rich here and these type of buildings got created due to the fact that the population increased over time because of the gold rush and there was a lot of people present around that time everybody wanted a bit of gold so that's why it's a thriving city here and you can see the after effect of the gold rush here with all the beautiful architecture and all the beautiful buildings that were built here yeah. in town and the city itself was established by the late association of the free churches of scotland so nice there you go and that's why you have these lovely churches guys these massive protestant churches burns house oh that's the apartment complex look at this beautiful mural it's very nice isn't it they're renovating the building here though it's a shame you can't see it now what it's do you think about the square here that's an interesting square isn't it yeah it's lovely a tag or theater trust guys there's an old cinema over here madam over there the theater trust that's cool isn't it the Merry Christmas, the big the big Christmas tree here in the in the central area. I think we're in the in right in the center now because usually that's where the big Christmas tree is in town. So we are just walking right into a commercial area down here. I think it's more of a pedestrian walk down this neck of the woods. Maddo, are you checking stores out again? Always at it, ain't you? Super busy around here, isn't it? Lots of people, lots of people enjoying their that commute around town here. So we're gonna do a full kind of lap around the whole kind of downtown area of Dunedin. I was just walking down George Street, a very English name as well. So after King George, you know? So it's a lovely street, isn't it? We're beautifully designed, nice. lovely rocks here along the road, the roadway. Oh, oh that's a pedestrian, is it? No. It's no, it's a kind of a road. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And there's a lovely bake bakehouse. Nice. What do you think of the street, madam? Yeah, this is Are you nice. impressed? I'm impressed and I wish this was a pedestrian street. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice when it's just pedestrians that can walk on the street, guys. All right, well, I think we're right in the heart now of all the, the shopping areas. Just looking at the shops. There's a, there's a water fountain. Where? Over here. Want some water? Sure. This is really giving me big city vibes. There's so many cool shops and so many yeah people. You weren't expecting that from the No, no, I wasn't at all, expecting like, that, that it's no. that big. And, you know? Everybody's doing that the Christmas shopping in town, so that makes a lot of sense. Maybe that's why there's so many people on the street just a few days before uh, Christmas. Are they on a lunch break? Could be two factors, yeah. Love to have a house down here, guys. Beautiful place. Really, really, really surprised and impressed by this place. Look at this. That's such a cool, cool little alleyway. Alleyway. Full of lovely, colourful walls. You want to walk down? It's a little shopping area down here as well. 
I want to walk all the way around. Matter wants to walk around the full loop of town. We're going for a nice walk today, aren't we? Yeah. Getting the cardio in. Getting burning a few calories. I love Jay's a chemist warehouse. Where? Yeah. You look down places, don't you? I do like this small. There's a lot. There's a lot of places to choose from as well. Because I like when it's compact and you go to one place and you get all your shopping done in one place. It's a walking distance. It's all walking distance. That really reminds me of Europe. We, we need to get Christmas presents, but we can't because uh, all the family's back home. So we don't need to. We actually ordered calendars for our families. I shouldn't say that. My mom's watching. We're gonna walk down the whole shopping street and then we're gonna just walk around away from it, follow away around town. There's a lot of construction as you can see. There is a lot of work getting done here on the street. Hopefully to make it more beautiful. But you see there's still all the old Victorian style buildings from I was 1880 over there as well. And I love the old store. I wish they maintained that type of store throughout now. You looking for a pie store? So we need to get a probably a pie guys, we're a bit peckish. Something not too expensive but not too cheap. So back to this lovely alleyway. In the middle of looking for a pie shop at the moment. You guys probably know all the best pies in town, but unfortunately we're fresh in town and we need to do a bit of research and investigation here. I think you found one there, yeah? Big house on Bond. Oh, yeah, I am hungry. I am very hungry, madam. Time for a pie. It's pretty affordable as well, pies. Pies are pretty affordable. It's getting a bit windy around here. Oh, there's another street. Another mural over here guys, look at how colourful it is on the wall over there, looks beautiful. Everything looks nice around here. This and that, adds uh, a bit of everything over here, the hardware store. The baby factory here on the right, get your baby goods. So Mado, I think just got lured into the, the bagel store instead of finding a pie. We've seen this lovely rated bagel store on the way here. It looks a bit funky, doesn't it? It's more expensive than the other one. It's expensive, is it? Oh, it is. On it. I want a pie. You want to pie? I'll have a bagel, okay? Okay, you have a, you have a, you have a bagel and I have a pie. Cute funky place, isn't it? The smell is delicious though. The temptation is high here at the moment. What bagel did you just purchase, nice. Mado? Let's see inside. It's spread with salmon. Oh, mm. salmon spread. Mm. What is it called? What is it called? Plate. It's called kitchen things. Bagels. I don't know. It doesn't even have the name, Mado. I know it's a bagel place though. Beam Sorry? Beam me up. Beam me up. Bagels. Mm -hmm. You see, you got a salmon bagel. Mm -hmm. And I want a pie. Where's the pie shop? Yeah, I'm really hungry now. It's not I'm fair. Not sure she gets to eat before the me. Right decision. I am making the right decision. Okay. I can get two pies for the price of one bagel. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the good part of it. We have a city mini market over here. And there's a herb of fish. What is all these places? Mm. It's overwhelming. Oh, where are we going now? Oh, wow. It's a nice little street. Bit of a funky place. Boys sell trade, new and second hand. That's a second hand uh, record store. And we have a nice Indian food mart, relics, techno fix. And some old Victorian style red brick buildings over there to the left. Honestly, a bit of everything around here. I love it. I love it. It's great. Mm, I love it. Are you loving the bagel? Mm -hmm. You are in your element there, aren't you, madam? Oh. You're loving this moment of life, aren't you? Yeah. Where's my pie store? Are we going there? Yeah, mm -hmm. lucky. Try this. It's nice, but it's alright. No, it's really nice. You just. It's just okay. No, this is really nice. No, it's just okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to say that because it's not yours. Oh, there's the big house there. Look at all the pies you have in the window. It's awesome. Get yourself a, get yourself a pie again. I'm hungry. It's that time of the day. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Very good. What's the best pie on the menu? A whole lot. Every single one of them. Which two people uh, usually choose? All of them. All of them, okay. Yeah, there's no that's going to be, a, that's a difficult there. Uh, yeah, there's no, it just depends what you like. Two pies. We've got um, a butter chicken and we've got steak and mushroom. Steak and mushroom. So, to be honest, these are a bit cheaper than the usual poi places we usually go to. Five fifty each, not bad. We usually pay about seven dollars for the poi, but it all depends on the quality, isn't it? So, Glenn, you're you turning to a kiwi eating poi for lunch. Yeah, I know, but it's probably maybe once or twice a week I have a poi. It's not that harmful, is it? I'm usually eating healthy most of the time, guys. The moment the truth, I bought, I got two pois because I'm extra hungry. Oh, that looks like steak and mushroom. 
Oh yeah. It's decent. I think the steak's a bit overcooked though. But it's a bit tender. It tastes the mushroom. So the place Sorry. is called Bake It is house. a bit tender though. The, the steak is quite tender. So I think I had better boys in the bars. But I can't really... Yeah, it's hard to tell. That I haven't finished it yet. You let me try it. It's all mine. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit, yeah. It's tender. It's like a steak. It's not mint. That's not bad. I like it. It's really nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the potties were generous, weren't they? They went down well. I mean, the butter was okay. I got a butter chicken, but not my favourite. I think the steak and the mushroom was my favourite. I like the bagels. Yeah, you did. You were in your element there, weren't you? It was a good investment, yeah. So we're just going down onto Stewart Street, guys. Let's check out the Dunedin Railway. It's a beautiful building down here. It's also a nice street. It's not a railway itself. It's just called a railway building, no, is it? There is also the railway. Oh. Yeah. Nice. The train, the rain railway. Oh. Al Bell Chambers over here. <laughs> Walking down the, the main street now. I think it's the last street we're going to explore. But I'm really Sorry. loving the place. It's closed though, I think. Yeah. Coffee stores closed at two o'clock. Usually. It's almost three. It's Coffee three o'clock nearly, yeah. The security buildings. That is something else, isn't it? I like this one. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. I'm not sure if that's a living place. I think people are living in that building, it seems. The newspaper uh, outlets that was established 150 years ago. Here are just like three bike shops in a radius of, of 50 meters. Okay. So apparently people here like um, cycling and they also have, a lot of them have electric bikes. Because, because all the hills go is it's very hard to get up the hills around here in Dunedin. And look at that lovely hotel. Law Courts Hotel accommodation. It looks a pretty old building as well. It has a nice paint job though. There's the, the cargo. 1863, there you go. 150 years ago the newspaper it was established here. The Cartago Daily Times. This is really nice. My first impression is going well. A lot of funky stores. A lot of lovely. There's an arcade mixed with a cafe. <laughs> cool. Honestly, feels like you're going back in time sometimes here. The dining room, guys. And what do we have down here? Uh, just an alleyway. It's closed, though. It's a restaurant and takeaway place. That's seafood since 1932, they say. Oh, Ew. I wish that was open. Traditional fish and chips, yeah. The fish and chip shop. Check the rating there, madam. Check the rating. Uh, 4.4 Decent for a fish and chip, that's not bad no. That is a beautiful building Nice clock tower Lovely design, never seen anything like it Well, back home Back home, yes Especially in England It's so nice, it's so well maintained with the garden And look at, look at, look at the, little, uh, the bushes, the way it's shaped There you go Ah, that's the railway over there Edinburgh Edinburgh 18,000 kilometers away Oh, that's pretty far away, isn't it? The Ford is you could probably travel, guys. It's miles away. Oh, you don't want to go inside, though. Do you? you just want to check the architecture from outside. No, I want to quickly go inside. Oh, the railway. Is it? Is it live? You can get on the train, though, can you? The Needham Railway Station. This looks very old. You can actually go inside, can you? Oh wow, this is beautiful. Oh my God, look at the architects from here, guys. That is lovely. Take this information. I mean, this is a train station, you can actually get on the train now, can't you? It's on the museum. Oh, wow. This is the official train station. <laughs> I thought it was a museum for a moment, but no. It, you is, can actually... it is a museum also. It's a very, very museum, but this is also... Oh, this is a cool picture. Oh, wow, look at this. It's cool, isn't it? It's also an art gallery, madam. It's an exhibition as well. What's inside? It's a common cold restaurant. Oh, it's closed though. It looks very fancy. It looks really fancy in here. It's all closed though. There's nothing going at the moment. That's pretty sad. It looks really awesome in there. At least we got to see the beautiful train station here in Dunedin. With the old man. The old toil design here we have. There is a lot of effort. I mean, back in the old days, they used to always put much more effort into the buildings than they do these days, unfortunately. Like 150 years ago, the buildings are beautiful. The art gallery, yeah. Our museums are quite free here in New Zealand, madam. That's one good thing about the country, it's really good. 
Boys, well, the weather's changing every few minutes. Like the sun is shining now. It was windy and it was cloudy, and now the sun just popped out after a few minutes. Scorching. Yeah, it's a bit of a shocker to the body. The body doesn't know what's going on. But there's an over a walkway over 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 the train track. Do you want to walk over, Meadow? Looks cool though. It's an old steam train. Ah, I see. There's a glass, glass case around it. Let's check it out. Looks lovely. It's not the old uh, steam train from Harry Potter, is it? <laughs> Traveled mostly from Dunedin to Omaru. You can't see it though. The glass is all reflective and you can't see much through the glass. Yeah. It's too bright. Yeah. Oh wow, there's the workshop from the train station in the shed. That's awesome. I just have all the trains all lined up here. I don't know if they're, they're not currently in service. What's, what's up with you? So there's the museum. Oh wow. I think we should keep the museum for a rainy day, you know? Oh. So we usually go in on museums on a rainy day. Just so we obviously take advantage of the hot days now. So it was sweet. Interesting building. That's a lovely one as well over here. Look at the building there. It's a really old hotel. That red brick one. With a red paint. Guys, there's a Celtic cross right there in front of us on the main street. They're usually everywhere in Ireland, actually, if you believe it or not. So I think we're just walking back to the car, but while enjoying the beautiful buildings that are scattered everywhere around us. It's a Chinese garden. It's so we just checked out the reviews of the Chinese gardens, and supposedly it's really small, and it's probably not really worth the $10 to go in. So we thought we'd give it a miss, and just kind of continue our walk yeah. around. All the old cars. So we're just gonna walk down the street here with all these lovely, lovely old buildings. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, that's cool. That's very beautiful. It does look like a street out of New York, though, doesn't it? We have been to New York, and it does look like a street out of New York. It's very cool, and that building's for sale. That'd be a great investment. It's so vibrant. The buildings are absolutely beautiful. And it's like I just feel like I'm going back in time here. It's actually lovely. You're looking at that mural there on the wall. With the telly and the woman and the tiger. And the, <laughs> the Bajal House. The National Mortgage and Agency of Agency Kai of New Zealand. And the red stone buildings over here. More of them. Lots of red brick buildings around here. Very talented, my friend. Very talented. Oh my god, this guy on a tricycle while playing a guitar, you could have skill to do that. Very impressive. Look at this guy, very impressive, isn't he? <laughs> Multi skilled guy. He's going up the ramp now, look at this. Ooh, that's challenging. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, we really hope you enjoyed this little tour and our first impression from Dunedin. We're gonna make a few more videos here while we're here. And yeah, hope you, ho you hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us a like, subscribe and comment down below. See you in the next one. Lots of love.